what do you do when your phone breaks? I don't know about you guys, but I'll not tell my wife about it. On a serious note, it's not just phones, but all the electronic and electrical instruments which are old and broken are what we call this e-waste. <laughs> and we are piling them up really fast. By 2020, we are going to generate 125 million tons of this e-waste, and that's huge. And this is only for each year. And if you're not able to process it properly, we will have an environmental disaster. The silver lining of all of this is that the value of this e-waste is $75 billion. Yes, $75 billion. And 60% of it is just metals. And, but did you know only 15% of it is recycled? I know, even my seal is really, really what we are doing here. That's because all these heavy metals in this e-waste are bound with each other very tightly, like these guys in this band. And if you need to separate them, you need to use harsh chemical processes, which are either not um, economical or environmental friendly. And here comes nature to save us. It has created what it's called a good bacteria. It can digest and convert these complex metals into much simpler forms which we can use it. But here is the catch. It still, uh, uh, here is the catch. Uh, it still has uh, some environmental issues, like uh, the waste it generates is not uh, environmentally friendly, and also it takes really, really long time for the process to occur. Like it took me to do my PhD. That's actually five years. And I have a solution to address both these issues at the same time. What I'm proposing is that you chop this e-waste into small pieces and encapsulate it into a microreactor along with your bacteria. That's the good bacteria. This is like an egg. The egg white is your bacteria, the yolk is your metal waste, and the shell is your microreactor, which actually protects your reaction. And thereby, it addresses all your environmental issues. I'll make these microreactors using the microfluidic technology, which actually defines the uh, size, the volume, and what we put into these microreactors, like what you see here. As I said, the, uh, by encapsulation of this reaction, it increases the efficiency of the digestion process. And it brings down the process time from five years to just a few hours. And that's incredible. This brings to me to the final point. Nature has solution for a lot of problems which we have created. It just needs a small helping hand to take it off itself. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anand. That was great. A uh, small FIY here, since Mari and Anad are from the same facility, uh, Mari won't be evaluating Anad or asking any questions. But please, judges, go ahead. So has any of this uh, been tried before? W uh, what parts actually work? Uh, the bio, uh, bio leaching actually works. It's there from like few hundreds of years, actually even older than that. Uh, micro reactors, it's done, the, uh, but it's not uh, proven for the bacteria with the bio leaching. So this is what I was proposing. It's not there anywhere actually. So what has to be the input purity of the waste you're dealing with? I'm guessing, uh, you, you, yeah. Yeah, we, we are looking less than 1%. Uh, if, even if it's less than 1%, we can still have really high efficiency, which we can reach like 90 to 95% or by bio leaching. I actually was wondering how do you chop your waste? You said you have to cut the waste in a very small. So how is done and how would that impact on the sustainability of your entire process? Yes, uh, of course, it's not. Uh, metal process is never be 100% sustainable. It has to use some uh, conventional techniques, uh, but the bacteria is what is add on to make it much more sustainable. If you want to uh, convert it with conventional chemical reactions, it takes really, really long time and also really harmful. So bacteria is just an add on which actually fastens these reactions. So again, not a field I know a lot about, so that's why I'm, I'm not sure about what to ask, but what are the final products of, you know, of, of, the, of the, the metabolites of the, of, the, of the bacteria fermentation? I'm, like, what, what is, you know, some of, 
some of yeah. the um, um, some of the uh, the, the molecules there have like you know half half life of, of thousands or of hundreds of thousands of, of years probably right yeah so uh, the, the side products which actually are the spent acids which comes out from this bacteria when it does these reactions and then these are not sustainable because you just throw it into the environment without processing them so that's actually what bacteria does with the micro reactor it protects these uh, spent acids being leaked out into the environment or in the atmosphere easily Perfect. Great. Great. Thank you for the questions. Thank you, Anand. Thank you very much. Yay.